Welcome back to another low spend freezer challenge video. This is week three for us and I hope that it's been giving you some inspiration to clean out your fridge and freezer as well as save some money. If you're new, my name is Leah and I am all about spending less and creating more and sharing with you how you can do the same thing. So if you haven't seen my previous videos, I'll have a whole playlist down below of how I do that. Monday, the kids had a Christmas party with my mom. So Dakota and I had a date night. Now, I also ran into the grocery store on Tuesday morning for my business and I found an incredible clearance deal on milk, so I put three gallons of organic whole milk into my freezer. On Tuesday, I started with some chicken in the Instant Pot and this was just some chicken breast with the skin and bone. I wanted to have extra water in this with some salt to make broth because I'm going to use the broth for the Christmas dinner that we have, but I just have to get all of this chicken off the bone. to make some French bread. We need one cup of warm water, about a packet of yeast or two and a quarter teaspoon, half a tablespoon of sugar, half a tablespoon of butter, three cups of flour, and about two teaspoons of salt. I will have the full recipe down in the description box as well as a more detailed video on how I make French bread. I've done that in the past in a meal prep video, so you can check that out. It's really easy to make this either by kneading with hand or a stand mixer or even a bread maker on the dough setting. So once you've had it in the log, you're gonna let it rest for about 30 minutes. And I went ahead and got some soup out of my freezer. I had already made potato soup and got that in for a meal prep. So again, I'll have that in the description box as well with the whole recipe. Thursday, I finally made the naan pizza that I've been talking about doing. I got some naan bread on clearance a while back and I just stick it into my freezer to keep it from going bad. And it stays in those packages from the store perfectly fine. Now I didn't have any kind of pre-cooked marinara sauce, but I ended up just doing my own really quick in a bowl. I normally like to do this on the stove top and let it simmer for a while, especially if I'm adding some meat sauce and making lasagna or some other kind of pasta. But this worked in a pinch. It was a really fast dinner and it's really fun to get the kids involved too. You can have all different kinds of toppings and it's a great way to clean out your fridge if you want to use some extra vegetables, whatever kind of meat you have on hand. For groceries this week, I ran into Walmart. I almost did a pickup order, but I had to get some other things for Christmas stocking stuffers. So I got it all done at Walmart. I normally share with you a grocery haul on my counter or sometimes even in the back of my trunk. But this week I was trying to make the most of the time that we had and I just did not have a chance to film the grocery haul on my counter. For the most part, our grocery haul just needed to be some dairy like milk, eggs, coffee cream and I also needed some more fresh produce like vegetables fruit and the kids needed some things for lunch I got them some chicken nuggets from the freezer section some boxed mac and cheese and I also picked up some tuna for myself I was really wanting to have some of that
That weekend was also our Davis family Christmas and my mom joined us. I filmed quite a bit of that, so I'm planning on having a video for you sharing different recipes and things that we did. So make sure you stay tuned for that on Friday. But of course, until the next video, I'll see you down in the comments and I hope you have a wonderful week.